Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be the first in a series of several in which we build a full-page interactive web application. This one's going to be a game. I have actually adapted this from one created by Colt Steel. Colt Steel is a fantastic, absolutely phenomenal um, web develop development teacher. Um, he has a YouTube channel, he has Udemy courses, he has a lot of different things, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you check him out. He is absolutely fantastic. One of the best I've seen. So this is a game that, that I learned just watching one of his videos, and then I kind of looked, took the, the final package and then created it my, uh, by myself. So this assignment, this, this code along is what it's going to be, is adapted from one that he created, and his used a lot of third-party stuff. Like, I want to say it had Bootstrap and jQuery, and it might have had Lodash in there. It had several different plugins. We are not going to use those. We're just going to do in vanilla JavaScript, because unfortunately we just don't have time to cover all that in this course. But it's also good, I think, to get a very solid foundation with vanilla JavaScript before you start adding in all the other stuff because those are, they're super cool, and they're useful, and they're awesome, but if you don't have a solid foundation, they can really screw you over in the long run, because you won't understand why things aren't working correctly when they don't. So, the, the main bullet point of that entire speech is Colt Steel is fantastic, go check him out, he's awesome. So this, as I said, this is the final product of what we're doing. What we're doing is we're going to make an RGB color guessing game. In case you're, you don't remember from CSS, RGB is a color model, red, green, blue, where it's additive color. So RGB model, let's see if that, yep, right here, where it's additive color. And I like the Wikipedia page, this image right here. You can see that red and green together make yellow, blue and red make this pinkish color, green and blue make the cyan, and then all three together make white. So it's different than what you might have learned in grade school, because in grade school you've got red, yellow, and blue while light is our red, green, and blue, and they interact differently. So what this game does is it randomly generates a color right there. Each time you refresh the page, it'll give you a new one, or you can just hit reset, and it'll give you a new one. And it also generates five additional random ones, and it puts blocks down here with all those colors, and you have to click the right one. This one has a good bit of red, almost no green, and a decent bit of blue. So let's try that one. Nope. Try that one. Nope. Oh, there it is. You see how that works? A few things I want to highlight is that these buttons highlight. You can click on easy and it'll give you three. You can click on hard and it'll give you six. If you click on the wrong ones, they go away. You click on the right one, it changes the color up here and it changes all of those. You can hit play again, which you'll notice the text changed. And then when you reset it, the text goes back to this kind of ugly green. You can hit reset any time to get a bunch of new ones. You can hit easy and you can hit reset to get a bunch of new ones. And that's basically how this works. And we're going to build this. We're going to make this from scratch. You're going. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I highly, highly suggest you code along. And when I say highly suggest, I mean you have to because the final product is an assignment. You're going to code along, and we are going to build this together. You are welcome, once it's over with, to add your own flair, make it look better than mine, because as I've said before, I'm not a great designer. If somebody gives me a mock-up, I can make it look like their mock-up, but I'm not very good with colors and fonts and sizing and all that stuff. So this is what we're going to build. I'm looking forward to the next several videos when we build this together. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.